Is in the Atha Races Finale Juvenile Hurdle, two miles and 110 yards. One is Ari Yu, Leighton Aspel. Two, Beecham Prince is Tom Scudamore. Number three is Biscard. Two, Christian Williams. Four, Syrian, uh, Ruby Walsh. Number five is Golden Millennium, Mick Fitzgerald. Six, Habitual Dancer, Brian Harding. Seven, Joxa is Richard Young. Eight, Mokum, Carl Llewellyn. Nine, Far Blur, who's an interesting runner. 40 to 1 for the Triumph, uh, Tony McCoy. Ten is Salou St. Cloud, 20 to 1 for the Triumph, Brian Crowley. Eleven is three Welshman, Lee Stevens. Twelve, Varazi, Jamie Moore. Thirteen, Woody Valentine, Richard Johnson. Fourteen is Calamiria, Tony Dobbin. Number 15, Hunarisk, is Jacques Ricou, and 16, Mooncatcher, Timmy Murphy. They're Out in front, Habitual Dancer, as they head up towards the first of eight flights. Three Welshmen on the near side, a joxer right there in the centre, the light blue sleeves and cap. Three Welshmen pretty erratic going to the first, but uh, saw a stride there and got over it safely. Up there on the near side is Golden Millennium, and further back, Beecham Prince, who takes up fifth on the inside. Followed then by Woody Valentine, and back in the field too, as they charge downhill is Mokum. They're followed uh, next in the field out very wide by Harry Yu, who's in the white cap. As they swing sharply left-handed now and about to race uphill towards the back, they've got a total of three flights awaiting them down there, four in the home straight when they get there, and a long run before they reach the second. Habitual Dancer is the leader here by a length or so to Joxer in second. Three Welshmen in third, a half length into Beecham Prince, followed then by Golden Millennium, who's travelling on the outside of Woody Valentine. A length further back is Hunarisk, a length and a half then to Assyrium, the favourite, who settles sixth on the inside of Mokum. Out wider is Ari Yu, followed by Salou St. Clou. They're followed next in the field then by Biscard too as they head into the back. Varazi is next on the inside of Runner. Woody Valentine has lost a little bit of ground uh, at this stage. Uh, drops back to third there on the inside. Uh, right out the back is Calamiria in company there with the Far Blur is giving the leader a fair start. Biscar Blur has now dropped back a couple of places and last is Moon Catcher heading now towards the next and Joxa goes on here from Habitual Dancer and Golden Millennium. Wooden, Woody Valentine up in fourth. Then out wider on the track is Arayu a couple of lengths to Hunarisk and further back in the field Salou St. Clou. Far Blur is starting to make ground out wide. Sirium right in centre field about uh, eighth on the inside as they come out of the fourth flight. Well back Varazi. Out wider on the track is Mokum. Further back then Mooncatcher going backwards and so too is Beach and Prince just preceding that one as the jumping is completed down the back. Long run before they reach four out. At this stage Richard Pittman, uh, which one do you fancy? Well G Jim, they haven't played their cards yet. What I like at the moment is Woody Valentine. But what happens here is they all come in for this bend because it's a long way round here. Just trying to bustle up on the inside is number six there, Habitual Dancer under Brian Harding. But no one has played their cards. What will be evident very shortly, McCoy going up on the outside on Far Blur in fifth place here. And what they'll do, Jim, some will spread out, some will go to the far rail, some will stay here. But I have a fancy that uh, Mick Fitzgerald on Gold Millennium will cut across. He's in second place at the moment. Let's see if they split. Well, into the home straight, a half mile left to travel and four left to jump now as Joxa shows the way into the home straight. Couple of lengths clear. Uh, Mick Fitzgerald indeed does come to the near side on Golden Millennium. Also Far Blur with a red sleeves and cap on the near side coming into it as well. Sirium is over on the far side. He lost a bit of ground coming to the turn and now he's hard ridden to get back into it and Salou St. Clou is coming there on the near side as well. Three out and it's Far Blur who jumps into a clear lead here. 
here by three or four lengths and kicks away. Battling on is Salu Sanclu, followed then by Huna Risk, and they're about ten lengths clear of Syriam, who's doing nothing at the second last. Far Blue is going to be hard to catch. Two or three in front of Salu Sanclu and Huna Risk. They're four or five lengths clear of Habitual Dancer, well back, followed by Biscar too. But Far Blue it is. Tony McCoy, Far Blue with one left to jump and a furlong to run. Is five, six lengths in front. Biscar too is running to second place and running on well. Far Blur clears the last, lands over at three clear. Biscard two is absolutely flying for Christian Williams, but Far Blur is going to get there for McCoy, wins it by a length in the end from Biscard two. Third then was Habitual Dancer. Beach and Prince, a nice run, ran on very well from Salou St. Clou. Further back in the field then, Hunerisk and company there with Mooncatcher. They were nicely clear then of Syrium, who's a long way back actually. Uh, and uh, amongst the tail enders, Varazi and company there with three Welshmen, and uh, also oh, Calamiria, who's uh, in Far Bleu, uh, it wins at nine to one. The total top price at the moment, 16s from 40. Labrooks are 14 to one for the Triumph Hurdle. Second, number three, Biscar two at 50 to one. And third, there was number six, Habitual Dancer, who I think returned at 33 to one.